independent, I feel, is a birthright for Tibetan people. Mm. Like me, I am born as an independent Tibet. Mm. Now I have to live one day with not independent Tibet, mm. Tibet under China. That it will be reality, maybe, in some years' time. But on the other hand, I feel maybe what the Lama was seeing is this is the best possibility for Tibet. Maybe this is the way we can at least preserve our Tibetan culture, mm. Tibetan civilization, at least if we can stop the millions of Chinese coming into Tibet. You know? Right. So maybe at the same time it's giving basically there is a two way you know it's like a, in a way business negotiation mm -hmm. you try to get maximum benefit mm -hmm. but at the same time you have to give something out too mm -hmm. so that you can come in the middle way to, in order to move forward so so in this way middle way the Chinese are also getting Chinese government are also getting what they want Tibet being part of China right. but for the Tibetan it's it's able to preserve their culture and civilization. But other hand, as you said, the railway now coming into Tibet. Now this could be the beginning of the end of Tibet. You know? Right now Tibetans are already minority. There's more than seven point five million Chinese in Tibet against around five million Tibetans, maybe. So largest towns like Asa, Shigatse, Chikudo, those areas are just, it's just overwhelmed with Chinese already. Mm -hmm. Tibet is already a minority. Mm -hmm. So, like this kind of massive migration in Tibet, Tibet can totally become kind of diluted. Mm -hmm. So, Tibet, I see, I lived in Australia, I live, now I'm living in the last 12 years in the United States. What I see is perhaps Tibet might end up becoming like the Australian Aborigines or the Native Americans. You find them in the reservations or out back somewhere where the Tibetan, you will find somewhere else. It's mainly occupied by the Chinese. This could happen if we can't stop it. That's why the Dalai Lama is doing the negotiation on the middle way. So complete autonomy inside Tibet Tibetans will have own life. China will have the defense right. and foreign policy they will take care. Right. But inside, Tibetans will learn, run our own life. So in that way we can preserve our culture, civilization and our religion, most importantly, Buddhism. Mm. So I think, I feel that this is most realistic. Mm. So I'm for it. I support 100%. Mm.